Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to review the 1998 Swedish movie Under the Sun. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, so you never miss our future videos. The film begins with a voiceover quotation of the verse from the book of Ecclesiastes, which includes the language, for everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under heaven. After the death of his mother over a decade ago, Olov, an illiterate farmer, lives alone on his family farm. Olov can't read, so his young friend Eric, who has been a sailor and who claims to have known various American celebrities while staying in the United States of America, and to have bedded hundreds of women, handles all the business of the farm. As Olov cannot handle his work alone at his home and needs someone to take care of his house, he one day puts out an ad for a woman in a local newspaper, asking applicants to include a photograph. Two beautiful women from outside of the village responded. The news reached the village priest, who told Eric. Eric who is an insincere fellow and tries to steal money from Olaf did not like this idea. However, he couldn't do anything to stop Olaf from hiring a woman. Olaf selected a beautiful woman named Ellen. He went to the town to receive her and brought her home. Eric and a few of the villagers tried to make fun of Olov. But Olov didn't give them any attention. As Ellen takes over more and more of the business of the farm, the farmer and the newcomer fall in love. Eric becomes convinced that she is a gold digger who is after Olov's money. Eric and Ellen quarrel, and Eric threatened to find out where you come from and who you are. When he does find out that Ellen is married, he implies to Ellen that he will expose her. Eric borrows some money from Olov for buying a new horse and its cart. When Olov demanded the money back saying that now he has a mad in his house and he needs money. Eric said that it has just one week since he borrowed the money. He calls Olov a selfish friend and starts blackmailing him. He says that he will tell Ellen that he is illiterate. Olov requests him to not tell her about his education. Eric accepts his request by saying that he will not ask for his money. After continuous blackmailing from Eric, one day Ellen leaves the farm, leaving behind a note to Olov in which she discloses that she is already married, and apologizes for having betrayed his trust. She says she must go back and sort things out, and closes by saying that she will always love Olov. Olov asks Eric to read the note to him. At first, Eric refuses. When he does read the note, he alters the text by inserting a sentence saying that Eric has repaid some money he borrowed from Olov, and that Ellen has taken the payments for herself. He also omits Ellen's declaration of eternal love for Olov. Eric then announces he is going back to sea, on the SS Andrea Doria, and departs. The ship that later the same year collided with MS Stockholm and 49 people died. Some time passes, and one day in the fall, the characters are wearing coats and Olov is bird hunting. When Olov is on a road, a passing car stops, and from it steps Ellen. Olov has Ellen's note with him and asks that she read it to him, confessing for the first time that he cannot read. Ellen reads the note and asks if Olov wants her back. The two are reunited and the film ends. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.